Hi, my name is Ruth, and this is Life Lessons from the Bible. 1. God should always be the first in our hearts. Exodus 23 says, You shall have no other gods before me. Number 2. Treat God as your most treasured relationship. Matthew 6, 21 says, For where your treasure is, there your heart will also. Number three, God cares for us and wants to calm our fears. First Peter 5, 7 says, Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Number four, bless others with your time, talent, and treasure. Hebrews 13, 16 says, Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifice are pleasing to God. 5. Living your life as an active witness for the gospel. Matthew 5, 16 says, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Number six, remember that we should live for God and not human approval. Colossians 3.26 Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, Work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Number seven, cling to God and he will remember you. Psalms 91, 14 says, Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him and I will protect them because he knows my name. Number eight, do not blame God for your trouble in life. Job 1.22 says, In all this job did not sin or charge God with wrong. Nine, caring for others is the best way to live out your faith. James 1.27 says, Religion is pure and unfog. Before God the Father is this to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and keep oneself unstained from the world. 10. Do not seek position of power but instead serve others. Matthew 23 11, 12 says, The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself be humble, and whoever humbles himself be exalt, exalted. 11. Acknowledge your shortcomings. See God as a solvent. Rear. Romans 12. 3 says, For by grace given to me, I say to everyone among you not to think of themselves more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to its measure of faith, that God has assigned. To 12. Do not question where God direct, directs you. Exodus 4.13 says, But he said, Oh my Lord, please send someone else. 13. Take time for what matters when it matters. Ecclesiastes 3. 1 says, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven.
Number 14, keep God as the center of your life. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make a straight your paths. 15. Desire the Holy Spirit and don't give in early earthly cravings. Galatians 5, 16 says, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. 16. Protect yourself by clinging to God's word. Ephesians 6, 13 says, Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand an evil day and have done all to stand from. 17. Avoid self selfishness by placing others ahead of yourself. 2 two three says, "Do not do nothing from flesh ambition or consent, but in humility count others more significant than others." Eighteen seeking God's will first rather than worrying about the little things. Matthew six thirty three says, "But seek first the kingdom of God." and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. 19. Rejoice, pray, and be thankful. First, the Lenocensis 5, 16, 18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstance, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Number 20. Give God his due through your life. Mark 12, 17 says, Jesus said to them, Bring to Caesar the things that Caesar, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. Number 21, give generously to God and to others. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart and not ruthlessly or under compulse for God's love, a cheerful giver. Number 22, remember that God will deliver you from your fears. Isaiah 41, 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Number 23, remember what God desires is your heart. It's not just your works. Micaiah 6, 8 says, He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require for you? But to do justice, to love, kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. 24. Do not merely hold into your beliefs. Live, with, live them out. 1 John 3.18 says, Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but indeed in truth. Number 27, when God calls you, be faithful to answer. Isaiah 
6, 8 says, And I've heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I say, Here I am, send me. This was a blessing to me, and I hope it's a blessing to you, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.